After the great and tremendous battle at Gomorrah, behold the Nephites who had escaped into the country southward were hunted by the Lamanites until they were all destroyed. My father also was killed by them, and I even remain alone to write the sad tale of the destruction of my people. And whether they will slay me, I know not. The eternal purposes of the Lord shall go on until all his promises shall be fulfilled. For out of the earth shall these covenants and prophecies come by the hand of the Lord. And it shall come even as if one should speak from the dead. The Lord hath shown unto me great and marvelous things concerning that which must shortly come at that day when these things shall come forth among you. I speak unto you as if you were present, and yet ye are not. But behold, Jesus Christ hath shown you unto me, and I know your doing. Condemn me not because of mine imperfection, but rather give thanks unto God that he hath made manifest unto you our imperfections, that ye may learn to be more wise than we have been. I have not as yet perished, and I make not myself known to the Lamanites, because they put to death every Nephite that will not deny the Christ. And I will not deny the Christ. Wherefore, I wander whithersoever I can for the safety of mine own life. Now I write unto my brethren, the Lamanites, and I would that they should know that more than 420 years have passed away since the sign was given of the coming of Christ. And I seal up these records after I have spoken a few words by way of exhortation unto you. Behold, I would exhort you that when ye shall read these things, if it be wisdom in God that ye should read them, ye will remember how merciful the Lord hath been unto the children of men from the creation of Adam, even down until the time that ye shall receive these things, and ponder it in your hearts. And when ye receive these things, I would exhort you that ye would ask God, the Eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will know the truth of all things.
must repent, or the great city Jerusalem must be destroyed. O Jerusalem, wash thy heart from wickedness. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. For thus hath the Lord said, the whole land shall be desolate. God Almighty, Father of all, please hear the words of thy servant Lehi. The heart of thy servant aches for the souls of thy children in Jerusalem. I fear terrible destruction awaits them if they will not turn their hearts from wickedness. Blessed art thou, Lehi, because of thy faith. Ah, Nephi. Please, take him. See to it quickly. Yes, Father. Father, are you well? Yes, thank you. Lehi. Sariah. What has happened? Returning from Jerusalem, I was, I was overcome with the Spirit. I was carried away in a vision, even that I saw the heavens open, and I saw God sitting on his throne. I saw one descending out of the midst of heaven, and his luster. was above that of the sun at noonday. And I also saw twelve others following him. And the first came and stood before me and gave unto me a book. As I read, I was filled with the Spirit of the Lord. And many things did I read concerning Jerusalem, that it should be destroyed. What does the Lord want us to do? Great and marvelous are the works of the Lord God Almighty. I know that he will not suffer those who come unto him to perish. He has commanded me to declare the things I have seen and heard to the people of Jerusalem. of Jerusalem. I am Lehi. I have dwelt at Jerusalem all my days. I am a man who fears God. I have had a vision. 
even that I saw the heavens open and I saw God sitting upon his throne. Another bad prophet! <laughs> I have seen many things concerning Jerusalem that it shall be destroyed and the inhabitants thereof. You are a fool! <laughs> many shall perish by the sword and many shall be carried away captive into Babylon and this because of the wickedness and the abominations of the people of Jerusalem. You should perish by the sword. There is a Messiah coming. Who will be the Lord? He speaks blasphemy. I speak the truth. Slay him. Slay him. Please listen. I do not understand him. The city has many prophets. Why should Father speak up at all? He had a dream. Let him dream his dreams, but let him keep them to himself. Do you not suppose it may be true? Whether it is true or not, it will destroy this family. Layman. What is it, Father? Gather the family. Jerusalem is... Her children are ripe with iniquity. They do not even try to hide the wickedness that is in their hearts. There are many good people who keep the law of Moses. There are others who seek to take away my life. The Lord spake unto me, even in a dream. And the Lord commanded me that I should take my family and depart into the wilderness. Layman, Lemuel, you will prepare the camels for a long journey. How long? One that will not bring us back to Jerusalem. We are abandoning our home. Sam, Nephi, help your mother to gather all the provisions we will need for our journey. Yes, Father. Father. Please. Lord has commanded it. Yes, Father. It seems you are correct. Father has indeed gone mad. Quiet. Leave those. But, Father, we, we may need them for trade. Or for... drinking. We have been commanded to take nothing. Save it be our family, provisions, and tents. Obey your father, Lemuel. Leave the gold and silver. As the Lord commands.
We thank thee for thy mercy in protecting us and delivering us from the destruction of Jerusalem. We pray, Father, that thou wilt guide us through this wilderness and that we will have the faith to follow thee. Why do we have to obey him? He's a visionary man. He led us out of the land of our inheritance. And for what? To perish in the wilderness. We suffer because of the foolish imaginations of his heart. You know not the dealings of that God who has created you. Laman, oh that thou mightest be like unto this river, continually running into the fountain of all righteousness. And Lemuel, oh that thou mightest be like unto this valley, firm and steadfast and immovable in keeping the commandments of the Lord. I do not believe that Jerusalem, that great city, can be destroyed according to the words of the prophets. Your hearts are hard. And you are stiff-necked like unto the Jews who were at Jerusalem, who sought to take away my life. He is God. And in his great mercy, we are delivered from destruction. If we keep God's commandments, we will prosper. If we do not, we will perish. Father said. I do. Why? I did cry unto the Lord. And he did visit me. And it softened my heart. I did believe. I believe you, Nephi. are hard, Lord. Father, I grieve for them. Blessed art thou, Nephi, because of thy faith, for thou hast sought me diligently with lowliness of heart. And inasmuch as ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall prosper and shall be led to a land of promise. And inasmuch as thy brethren shall rebel against thee, they shall be cut off from the presence of the Lord. And inasmuch as thou shalt keep my commandments, thou shalt be made a ruler and a teacher over thy brethren.
Yes, Nephi. Come in. Come in, sit with me. The Lord hath commanded me that thou and thy brethren shall return to Jerusalem. Laban hath the record of the Jews, and also a genealogy of my forefathers, and they are engraven upon plates of brass. Thou and thy brother should go unto the house of Laban and seek the records, and bring them down hither into the wilderness. I suppose Laban and Lemuel have refused? They murmur, saying it is a hard thing which I have required of them, but I have not required it of them. But it is a commandment of the Lord. I will go and do the things which the Lord hath commanded. For I know that the Lord giveth no commandment unto the children of men, save he shall prepare a way for them, that they may accomplish the thing which he commanded them. Thou hast been blessed of the Lord. Which of us shall go? The layman. As the eldest, you have always claimed the right and privilege of being first among us. We will cast lots. As I said, of your success. Please, sit, sit. Thank you. Zora, fetch this man some wine. Uh, that will not be necessary. 
It is kind. But my visit will be brief. But well? Tell me. What have you come to discuss with me? My father, Lehi, has sent me. The Lord has commanded us to ask thee for the records which are engraven upon the plates of brass, the records which contain the genealogy of my father. The plates of brass have been handed down in my family for generations. Your father believes I should simply give them to you? Now what if I were to cry out claiming thou art a robber? Then I would be within my rights to slay you, would I not? I... Thou art a robber! I will slay thee! Seems you did not fare so well. At least I am alive. Called me a robber. Threatened to slay me. Now what shall we do? We return to our father in the wilderness. We will not go down to our father in the wilderness until we have accomplished the thing which the Lord hath commanded us. Nephi, I tried. He will not give us the plates. Wait. Let us go down to the land of our father's inheritance. He has left gold and silver and all manner of riches. He knew that Jerusalem must be destroyed because of the wickedness of the people. And it is wisdom in God that we should obtain these records. That we may preserve unto our children the language of our fathers. And also that we may preserve unto them the words which have been spoken by the mouth of all the holy prophets. It grows cold. The Lord will not forsake them. You are a visionary man. Thou hast led us forth from the land of our inheritance. And my sons are no more, and now we perish in the wilderness. I have not seen what you have seen. I cannot help but fear for their lives. Soraya, I know I am a visionary man. For if I had not seen the things of God in a vision, I should not have known the goodness of God, but had tarried at Jerusalem and had perished with my brethren. I know the Lord will deliver our sons out of the hands of life and bring them down again unto us. <sighs> Once again, the Lord has commanded us to ask for the records which are engraven upon the plates of brass, for which we will give unto you our gold and our silver and all our precious things. So.
beautiful. Beautiful. I am quite pleased with your generous offer. There are thieves in my house! You are the thieves! Slay them! Slay them all! another way. There is no other way! What do you propose now? Return to the house of that thief! They'll kill us before we get to the door! We must go back. We cannot disappoint Father or the Lord. You are a fool. You are a fool! Father is a fool! Hide ye spite your younger brother with a rod. Know ye not that the Lord hath chosen him to be a ruler over you? This because of your iniquities. Behold, ye shall go to Jerusalem again, and the Lord will deliver Laban into your hands. that the Lord will deliver Laban into our hands. He is a mighty man. He can command 50. Yea, even he can slay 50. Then why not us? Let us go up again into Jerusalem. Let us be faithful in keeping the commandments of the Lord. He is mightier than all of the earth. Then why not mightier than Laban and his fifty? Or even than his tens of thousands? Let us go up. Let us be strong like unto Moses. For he truly spake unto the waters of the Red Sea. And they divided it. And our fathers came through out of captivity on dry ground. Nephi. This is not the same. An angel has spoken unto you. Wherefore can you doubt? Let us go up. The Lord is able to deliver us, even as our fathers. If Laban or any of his guard catch you, they will kill you. Stay here. Hide yourselves until I return. God be with you. Thank <laughs> you. 
his righteous purposes. It is better that one man should perish than that a nation should dwindle and perish in unbelief. already. Zoram, go with me into the treasury. As you wish. I out by night among them. Put the pot on the plate brass. Of course, Master. Oh, 
Meu céu! Eu não entendi isso, Ariel. You need not go down to us. The Lord has commanded us to do this thing. And if you will come down into the wilderness to the tent of my father, thou shalt have place with us. I promise thee. I will go down into the wilderness unto thy father. I make an oath with thee. I will tarry with thee from this time forth. In the plates, Father. Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath commanded my husband to flee into the wilderness. And I also know of a surety that the Lord hath protected my son and delivered them out of the hands of Laban and given them power. Whereby they could accomplish the thing which the Lord hath commanded them. Come, we must offer sacrifice and burn offerings unto the Lord and give thanks unto the God of Israel. Contain the five books of Moses and an account of Adam and Eve, our first parents. Also the prophecies of the holy prophets. Yes. And more. Look, the genealogy of my fathers. I am a descendant of Joseph. Even that same Joseph who was the son of Jacob who was sold into Egypt. Spirit has shown me that these plates of brass shall go forth unto all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people who are of my seed. It is wisdom in the Lord that we should have them. They are of great worth unto us, insomuch that we can preserve the commandments of the Lord unto our children. spoken unto me. It is not me to take my family into the wilderness alone, but that my son should take daughters to wife, that they might raise up seed unto the Lord in the land of promise. Mm. I will gather our sons, and as a family we can thank the Lord for answering my prayers as well. We 
wish us any daughters to wife, that we might raise up children. <laughs> Unto the Lord in the land of promise. Yes, but a wife and a family. <laughs> Ishmael! Oh, Layman! Did not expect to ever see you again. Where are Lehi and Sariah? Ishmael, our father sends us with the message. We must speak with you. Of course. Come, sit. We doubted our father's vision for a time. But in our journey to get the plates, we saw an angel. As bright as the sun at noonday in the cave where we stood. Our father was shown that Jerusalem will be destroyed, that many shall perish by the sword and many more carried away captive into Babylon. The Lord desires that the house of Ishmael join with the house of Lehi in the wilderness to journey to a land of promise that he has prepared for us. The Lord wishes that I and my family Go with Lehi and his family into the wilderness? Yes. <sighs> we know that Lehi is a faithful man. Do we not also believe what he has taught in the words of all the prophets? Father Ishmael, our two families are a branch of the house of Israel. The Lord desires that our families unite that we might inherit the land of promise. Come with us. Let us ask the Lord. should return home. I could at least rest in the shade. You. you. See, the Lord desires this union of our families. Yes, yes, he does. For what purpose? Why have we forsaken so much for so little? We have done it because our parents are fools. Why should we not go back? Let Nephi and Sam wander the wilderness with mother and father. <laughs> Lemme, Wolf. If you return to Jerusalem, you will perish with everyone there. Better to perish in Jerusalem than perishing here. Layman. I'm your father is not the only fool. We too are fools for following him. Please, ye are my elder brethren. And how is it that ye are so hard in your hearts and so blind in your minds that ye have need that I, your younger brother, should speak unto you? Yea, and set an example for you. It would be wise to see such talk, little brother. How is it that ye have not hearkened unto the word of the Lord? How is it that ye have forgotten that ye have seen an angel of the Lord? 
How is it that ye have forgotten that the Lord is able to do all things according to his will for the children of men, if it so be that we exercise faith in him? If we are faithful to him, we shall obtain the land of promise. And ye shall know that the word of the Lord shall be fulfilled concerning the destruction of Jerusalem. The spirit of the Lord ceaseth soon to strive with them. They have rejected the prophets, and Jeremiah they have cast into prison. And they have sought to take away the life of my father. Your father. I will not be lectured by a boy! If you will return to Jerusalem, you shall also perish with them. And now if you have choice, go up to the land. And remember the words which I speak unto you. If you go, you shall also perish. For thus the Spirit of the Lord constraineth me that I should speak. Hold him! Hold him! to my faith which is in thee. Let thou deliver me from the hands of my brethren. Yea, even give me strength that I may burst these bands with which I am bound. done you a great wrong. I'm sorry as well. Please forgive me. I forgive you. But I exhort you to pray to the Lord your God for forgiveness. We will. We will. Raya, they have arrived.
I have seen a vision, and because of the thing I have seen, I have reason to rejoice in the Lord because of Nephi, and also of Sam. I have reason to suppose that they, and also many of their seed, will be saved. But Laman and Lemuel, I fear exceedingly because of you. I saw in my dream a dark and dreary wilderness. Lehi, come with me. I partook of the fruit. It filled my soul with exceedingly great joy. Wherefore, I began to be desirous that my family should partake of it also. For I knew that it was desirable above all other fruit. And as I cast my eyes round about that perhaps I might discover my family also, I beheld a river of water. Soraya! Sam! Nephi! Come to me! Partake of the fruit! The 
that is desirable above all other fruit. 